Well, as vaccination rates have dipped, pediatricians have noticed a pretty disturbing trend. Some new parents are declining an important shot that newborns get soon after birth. That's not even a vaccine at all. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a closer look at this concerning issue, Doc. It is concerning, Kim and Karen. You know, for the past 60 years, newborns have received a shot of vitamin K soon after delivery. It dramatically reduces the risk of bleeding in the brain, which is a life-threatening condition that can cause brain damage in infants. But there's concern that more babies are now at risk because they are not getting that shot. We're seeing an increase in uh reticence to uh, give vitamin K to newborns. Uh, it's especially important in the newborn period that they get this. Dr. Dan Rito is a pediatrician specializing in newborns at Henry Ford Hospital. He says babies are born deficient in vitamin K because it doesn't cross the placenta well, but it's essential to help blood clot and prevent brain bleeds. It's a risk today's parents may not realize because vitamin K shots have been so successful. Many of us uh, have not seen uh, patients that uh, are babies that have had uh, massive bleeds associated with vitamin K deficiency. And so it's just not something that it's known. Uh, and so if we don't know about it, we don't know that we need to be preventing against it. Rito urges expectant parents to discuss the benefits of vitamin K shots in advance with their ob -GYN or their chosen pediatrician. It's very concerning and very frightening. And, and I try to communicate this to the parents that we're having this baby that is, is perfect and brand new and, and, and that if we don't do this, this thing that we've been doing for, for 60 years now, um, that we can take a baby that is perfectly normal, perfectly wonderful, and now they have catastrophic brain bleeds and brain injuries and, and potentially die, and that's completely preventable. Now, a study from the early 90s actually suggested a possible link between vitamin K shots and leukemia, but multiple follow-up studies found no link between any vitamin K shots and any childhood cancers, including leukemia. Dr. Rito really says he considers it the most important thing that newborns receive in those few, first few hours of life. Interesting. Now, what about preservatives? I know that's something that concerns a lot of parents, preservatives. Is that is that the case with this? Well, understandably so. And actually, there are vitamin K formulations that do have preser preservatives in them. They are perfectly safe. However, if that is your concern, there is also a preservative free form that's available. Just be sure to talk to the hospital that you're going to deliver at in advance to make sure that it's something sure. that they stock. Yeah, that's good it to know. An option. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Doc.